everyone, my name is John. I've been asked many times for either a typing tutorial or some typing tips, so I'd like to see if I can help with that in a four-part series, starting with this video. Today, I'll be covering getting started with Dvorak, but don't worry, in the other three parts I'll cover improvement for all layouts, not just Dvorak typists. Before I get into the real content of this video, I would suggest watching my last video about Dvorak if you're not sure what I'm talking about, because this video is intended for people who already know what Dvorak is and are intending to learn it. I've left a link to that video in the description. Now that that's out of the way, and only those of you who are willing to sacrifice your mind, body, and spirit to Dvorak remain, let's get started. One of the first questions many people have is what hardware or keyboard do you need? The answer is just the one you already have. You can switch your keyboard layout in your computer settings, which I will show how to do now. If you've already done this or don't want to watch me explain how to do it, I've left timestamps in the description to skip this section. The process of switching your keyboard layout to Dvorak in Windows is quite simple. First, you open your settings, and then go to Time and Language, and then click Language on the left, and then scroll to the bottom, and click on English, and then Options, and then just click Add a Keyboard and scroll to Dvorak. From here, you can switch between QWERTY and Dvorak by going to the bottom right and either clicking the symbol that says English slash US, or you can just press Control shift It's also simple with OS X. First, you open your settings and click Keyboard, and then click Keyboard again in the top left, and then go to Input Sources. From here, just search for Dvorak, and you'll be able to check it, which will add it to your computer. You can now switch your keyboard layout by either clicking the American flag in the top right, or pressing Command and Spacebar. Dvorak should now be enabled on your computer, and you should be ready to start typing with it. I learned through Typing.com's lessons. This is a fairly standard program where you just type the same character over and over again. It's pretty boring, but you can get through it quickly enough. Once you get through the 33 lessons, you should know where all the keys are. A good way to check is seeing if you can type, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Once you can do this without looking at the keyboard, you're ready to start practicing on more traditional websites such as NitroType or TypeRacer. Another program that is frequently recommended is DitchQWERTY.com. This website has a sleek design and is more adaptable as you decide when you want to add in more characters to the texts. I don't have any experience learning with it myself, but I think that it looks a little bit more engaging than typing.com. Honestly, any program you use will be fine, as long as you're able to learn where all the keys are. I've left links to typing.com and ditchqwerty.com in the description, as well as two other learn to type websites that you can use if you get frustrated with the two that I've mentioned. One other thing to think about when you're first getting started is prioritizing accuracy. No matter what you do, you're going to be slow at first. You might as well start with good habits and aim to have as high of accuracy as possible. I'd also recommend typing with Dvorak as much as you can during the day outside of your designated practice time, but I know it's annoying to be typing slow when you have work to do, an essay to write, or you need to ban someone from your Discord server for posting memes in the general channel. However, this will make the process of building your muscle memory go much faster. My final piece of advice is to stick with it through the mental barriers. It's always much easier to just go back to your old layout when your progress plateaus, but nothing worth doing is easy. Be prepared for it to take several months to become comfortable. Eventually, you'll break through if you keep practicing. I hope that this has helped give you some guidance as far as what you should be doing to start with Dvorak. Good luck, and feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode where I'll cover improvement up to 60 words per minute. And thank you very much for watching.